Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a collab video for you. Last year we did a big collab all together, which was our top 16 of 2016. This year we're doing the same thing, but we're splitting it into two parts. Today you're gonna to be watching our top 17 mainstream of 2017, and then tomorrow you're gonna to get our top 17 indies of 2017. So when, uh, Debbie, Claire, and I were talking about doing this collab. We figured that there was just way too many indies this year, especially for me, uh, that I couldn't combine everything into just one top 17. So uh, the idea came about to do two separate videos, one for mainstream, one for indie. So today you have the mainstreams and tomorrow you'll have the indies. Um, these videos are going to be going up at different times during the day because we're all in different time zones. So it's kind of hard to say we're all going to upload at this time. So everybody who's participating in this collab will be in the description bar down below. So please go down, down and check out everybody's videos, show them some love. Um, this is one of the hardest videos of the year to film, but in my opinion, it is one of the most fun to film. Uh, last year I had so much fun participating in the collab and um, it helps me get to, look, to know a lot of the, the girls um, in this community. So like I said, today we're gonna talk about our top 17 mainstream polishes. So I have my little swatch wheel here, here's a little sneak peek. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we're gonna talk about the top 17 mainstream polishes today and then tomorrow will be Indies. I do just want to mention that all of the polishes that I'm mentioning in my top 17s were released in 2017. I could have talked about polishes that I just received in 2017, but last year I did just polishes that were released in 2016 and that's kind of how I like to do the end of year polish countdowns is polishes that were released in that year. So every polish that I'm talking about today was released in 2017. So if you're case you're wondering, because I know some of you are gonna be saying, where's Light of Lyra? You've loved Light of Lyra this year. I did love Light of Lyra this year, but it wasn't released in 2017. It was released in 2016. So in case you're wondering why those polishes that I have talked about in the past are not mentioned today, probably because they weren't released in 2017. So just a heads up. So Let's just get started because I think these videos are going to be quite long because we are talking about 17 polishes. I'm going to try and get through them as quickly as possible. I am going to try and include swatch pictures for every single polish I'm talking about. These polishes are starting from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, so my nails will probably look different from the ones that were done in the spring to the ones that were done now because my nails are nubs right now. and. Um, back in the spring I had longer nails so um, if you see some different nail shapes and nail uh, lengths that's why because I'm just using swatch pictures that I already have taken throughout the year because otherwise it would take so long to do this video last year when I did my top 16 I sat and I swatched every single polish for that video and it took forever <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try and swatch the polishes that I don't have pictures for um, to compliment them but if so if I don't have a picture I apologize but I'm gonna try and get everything swatched so let's get started so number 17 is this china glaze this is called Belle of a Baller this came out in the spring pastels collection so it's just a nice pastel pink really does nothing too too special about this pink but a it looks good on my skin tone and B it is a beautiful formula so those two items sold me on this polish. So number 17 is Belle of a Baller from China Glaze. Number 16 is from the same China Glaze collection. This is called Chalk Me Up, and it's just a baby blue cream. Again, nothing too special going on here, but it was a beautiful formula, and the color is just beautiful as well. See, I love these pale sky baby blue type polishes, and when you get one with a good formula, it's a keeper. So typically like pastel type colors have crappy formulas and I found everything that I picked up from this collection to have a fairly good formula. So this is Chalk Me Up from Chinese. At number 15 I have OPI Feel the Chemistry. This is very very similar to Turn On the Northern Lights that came out in the uh, Iceland collection. This is the purple sister to that one. That The Turn On Northern Lights is more blue and this is more purple. 
I had both of them side by side and was trying to decide which one I wanted to include in this video and ultimately this one won out um, just because of the purple in it. I know I'm generally a blue person but the purple in this with the shimmer it just it, there's just something special that go, that's going on in this bottle like look at that golden shimmer running through here it's so pretty. So ultimately this one won out over Turn On The Northern Lights instead. So this is Feel The Chemistry by OPI. At number 14 I have a Salon Perfect and this is Hollow Day Weekend. Now a lot of mainstream brands this year attempted to bring out a silver holographic and in my opinion out of the four that I have, so I have H&M, I have this one and I have Essence and I also have the China Glaze one, uh, this was the best out of the four in my opinion. That is my opinion, so just you know, take that with a grain of salt. But this one I found had a really, really strong holographic. Very, very pretty. Formula is wonderful. And it's a drugstore brand that's very, very inexpensive. I think I could pick these. This was sent to me. Um, Lisa um, sent this one to me, so thank you, Lisa, for sending this to me. Um, but it's a lot perfect when I can get them in Canada. They're not very expensive. They're only, I think, four or five dollars. So for an inexpensive, a drugstore brand to be releasing a silver holographic, that's great. So hopefully we can get more holographics out of the mainstream brands in 2018 because, I mean, everything is holographic nowadays. Everything is marketed as holographic even when it's not holographic. So they really need to get onto the holographic bandwagon. So come on OPI, come on China Glaze, give us some holographic. This is number 14, uh, Holiday Weekend from Salon Perfect. At number 13, I have an Essence Polish. Now this brand and this collection was introduced to me by Mrs. Cornell and I picked up the whole collection. This collection blew my mind. Um, they are, I think, $4 in Shoppers Drug Mart and, oh my god, the quality of this, po this polish for $4 I can't complain whatsoever. So this one that I have here is Intergalactic Adventure and this is a lovely blue with a purple flash running through it. It's kind of like a galaxy effect polish. It's very very pretty. Um, I just fell in love with this, this, this whole line I fell in love with. I'm so glad I picked up the whole collection. So this is um, Essence Intergalactic Adventure. Number 12 is the only Essie that I purchased this year. I did not purchase any other Essies this year. I had a couple of Essies sent to me, but this is the only Essie that I actually purchased this year. And this is As If. Uh, so this came out in the 90s collection that came out this past uh, fall, I want to say. Um, but this is the only polish I picked up from Essie this year. I don't gravitate towards Essie. Um, Essie to me just they're it just, it's just blah polishes. Um, so the main reason I picked up this polish is because of the name, as if. If you're a 90s child like I am and you saw Clueless over and over and over again when you were a teenager, you'll know what as if. <laughs> what is, what that, that movie made as if the saying famous. So um, I picked it up mainly for the name, but then the color I fell in love with. It's a beautiful formula on this. I really wish all of the Essies were like this. But like I said, I haven't tried very many Essies recently, so they may all have wonderful formulas now, but previously I found Essie to be very hit or miss. But this one does have a great formula. So this is like a pale, grayed out blue with an absolutely beautiful formula. So this is As If from Essie. At number 11, I have another one of the Essence polishes from that same collection, and this is called Out of Space is the Place. This polish, my goodness, it does not look like much in the bottle. It has a little bit of a flash of like green. See that green flash there? So pretty. And the formula, beautiful. Two coats to be fully opaque on the nails. No problems with streaking or anything like that. Absolutely beautiful polish. And again, $4 at Shoppers Drug Mart. Can't go wrong. So this polish beautiful and I highly recommend it. So this one is Out of Space is the Place from Essence. Now heading into the top 10 we have another OPI. This is One Heckler of a Color. This is from the uh, Iceland collection that came out this past fall. I purchased the whole collection. It is a beautiful collection. Um, very, Lots of very very neat colors in that collection and this one 
no exception. It's like a dusty purple cream, absolutely beautiful formula. Everything in that collection was two coats to be opaque. I didn't have any issues with that collection or formulas at all. And you guys know how much I love my dusty polishes. So when this, with that dusty purple, oh, it's just, just perfect for me. So this is one Heckler of a color from the Iceland collection. Number nine, also from the same collection, is Less is Norse, and this is like a dusty gray navy color. Again, just a cream, perfect formula, and I just fell in love with this. I had this nail polish on um, with some Canadian maple leaves um, stamped over top of my nails for the fall, and it was just a beautiful combination of the... Uh, I think I, had, I used like a coppery stamping polish and this, it was just beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it, otherwise I'd pop it up for you. But this is a beautiful polish, so this is Less is Norris from BA. At number 8, I have a feeling this polish is going to be on a lot of lists that you're going to see today. This is Simply Fabulous from China Glaze. So this is like a more of a jelly formula than um, than a cream formula so it it's it's kind of like squishy when it's on your nails and it's showing up a lot brighter than it is on camera it's a lot darker in real life than what's showing up on camera right now so it's just, it's very very once it's on your nails it's just really really squishy just something about it it's just i like it yeah i have a feeling this is gonna be a lot of lists this year so this is simply fabulous from china Rays. I've said it before, this past year, Simple Colors just blew my blew my mind with their quality and their formulas. So number seven is Simple Colors Rojo Your Boat. Uh, this came out in I think the Spring Chicas collection or something, something along that lines. So I'll have it down below for you. And it's just this lovely primary red. But it's the formula is to die for. It's like a one, it's a one coat red cream. The, I just there's something about this polish. It's like it's simply fabulous. I can't put my my finger on exactly what it is about this polish, but I just love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was sent to me by one of this, my subscribers uh, because I couldn't find it here in Canada, and they very very graciously sent it to me. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head. I'm so sorry, but whoever it was who sent this to me, thank you so much. I really appreciate this sending this to me. So this is. Rojo Your Boat from Simple Colors. At number six, we have another one from the Iceland collection. This is Check Out the Old Geysers. Now this is like a powdery blue, but it's got, see that blue flash running through it? It's so pretty. It just gives it a little bit more dimension to the polish. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much. Something could just, it's something out of, out of the ordinary for OPI to do. And I just love it. So this is OPI, check out the old geysers. Now we're moving into the top five. And at number five, I have another essence. And this is Beam Me Up. I picked this polish up for myself and for Debbie because this polish just said Debbie to me. So I had to send it to her and I sent it to her for Christmas. It's just a beautiful, pinky, holographic, gorgeous polish. Again, why are the drugstore brands doing the holographics and the mainstream, like the regular mainstreams like SC, China Glaze, OPI, not doing holographics? It, dri it just drives me crazy. Why have they not jumped on this holographic bandwagon? I don't know, but if a $4 drugstore brand can do it, why can't OPI? That's all I have to say. So this is a beautiful pink, it's like a raspberry pink kind of color uh, with that holographic running through it. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is Beam Me Up from Essence. Number four, again, I have a feeling this one's gonna be on a lot of people's lists as well. And this is Charlie Lay's Cinderella. This came out in the Halloween collection this past year. It's kind of like, it's kind of a twin to um, Pearl Jam that came out last year. Um, it's like a taupey color and it's got this beautiful flash of reddish gold running through it. It's so pretty. I think it was definitely the standout from this collection. So this is Cinderella from China Glaze. Number three is this beautiful purple from OPI. This is called Nails of Paradise. This was from the Fiji collection, but it was one of the Ulta exclusives. I managed to snag this when I was in Florida, and I'm so glad that I did because this purple, 
oh my goodness, I fell in love with this purple when it was on my nails. It's just, again, it's just a regular old cream, but it's just a beautiful formula, beautiful color, and I got so many compliments when I had this on my nails. So pretty. So this is Nails of Paradise from OPI. At number two from the same Fiji collection is Two Timing the Zones. I'm not generally a very, very pink person. I will wear pink, uh, but it takes a lot for me to fall in love with a pink. And this is one of those pinks that just sucked me in and I fell in love with it. It's got the same kind of dusty quality that Rich Girls and Poe Boys has that made me fall in love with it last year. And then this is like the sister to it. So it's absolutely beautiful. So this is lovely pink cream. So this is Two Timing the Zones from OPI. And finally, at number one, is this blue OPI. This is Super Tropicali Fijiistic. The name is ridiculous, I know, but this polish stole my heart from the moment I saw swatch pictures of it. Look at that, is this not me? Seriously, this color, totally, totally me. So when I saw this, I just had to, had to buy it and I fell in love with it. So again, it's just a cream, but it's just, perfect blue for me. It's showing up a little bit brighter on camera than it is in real life, probably because of my lighting, but it's just a to die for polish. Oh my goodness, I love this polish so much. And that is why it is my number one mainstream polish of 2017. So this is Super Tropicali Fijiistic from OPI. Again, a completely ridiculous name, but I don't name them. I just fall in love with them. <laughs> So that is it for my top 17 mainstream polishes of 2017. I thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I'm going to be showing you what indie polishes I've been loving from 2017. Um, so yeah, you'll see me tomorrow with another video along with the, all the other ladies that are participating in this collab. Please go show them some love. Everybody is linked in the description bar. And I will talk to you tomorrow with my top 17 indies. Bye.